All right, folks. Today I have a uh, new project. Uh, this is the home light, home light or home elite. Not sure how to pronounce that name, but it is. Let's say, I think it's home elite. Cordless lawnmower, 24 volt, and um, somebody just gave away for free because they don't want to deal with. Uh, changing the battery because this cordless lawnmower uses two 12 volt lead acid batteries and it's in here I'm gonna remove it and show you later and uh, it's costly to be uh, to, uh, to change a new set of battery um, the battery alone costs a hundred dollars plus tax so uh, they just gave away for free even though this thing works perfectly fine so uh, my project today I'm gonna disassemble the whole thing not the whole thing but what I'm after are the, the motor uh, 24 volt motor and uh, the controller motor controller everything else is just bonus or just dump in the trash it's a shame but uh, it's a shame to uh, throw away perfectly good machine but I'm not interested in cutting lawn I do not have lawn it's a waste I think it's a waste uh, to grow lawn and uh, waste of water, waste of resource, waste of time. You have to grow it, you have to cut it, you have to fertilize it. And if you don't take care of it, it will look nasty, it'll look yellow, it'll look bald, it'll look nasty. So, I do not have lawn. Anyway, uh, so I have um, powered it on and it seems to power on even though it's a little bit weak. Probably because the battery is weak, but uh, other than that, it works fine. So what I plan to do is I'm gonna remove the motor, 24 volt. It's a 24 volt motor and the controller, and I'm gonna use it in a go kart or electric bike or something that moves, other than cutting lawn, right? And probably this battery here, I can refurbish. <clears throat> Maybe I can use this for something else. Um, the battery is weak, but it's working. So maybe I can add water to it or add uh, a little bit of sulfuric acid. And uh, let's see if I can revive it. All right, I've just removed the battery pack and here it is and as I just uh, predicted inside here are two 12 volt lead acid batteries and it looks to be in uh, good condition uh, good or not we'll see when I uh, measure the voltage and uh, hopefully I can revive it and use it for something else. Alright, so I've just removed the top and here is the treasure, the center of the universe. Uh, this is the uh, 24 volt brush motor. The are basically no controller and so I can show you we come to this end here so basically this is the wire that goes up to the handle right so when you press the handle like so it will run the motor right and when you press this handle 
it will come through the wire out here okay and there are only three wires coming out of here and um, the two green and white wire as you can see here is let's see the black wire goes straight to the motor okay the white and green wire are separated right and only the green wire go to the motor the white wire goes separately so when you press the switch on the handle right here right it will connect the white and green wire together so that I will tell the motor that uh, it's on that's it there are no control I thought there was uh, a DC controller but uh, there's nothing here it's just an on and off switch so it, would, it, it will connect the white and green wire together and complete the circuit that's all it does that's it the white wire go out to the battery and when these two are not connected together when the handle is not pre depressed they are separated when the handle is depressed these two wire uh, come together and complete the circuit okay that's all it does and here is the motor this is a nice clean 24 volt brushed DC motor I'll show you the brush this is the uh, the permanent magnet okay and I'm not sure you can see it here's the brush this side and one brush on this side Which you can see from this end brush right here this the whole thing here is brush two brush on both on both sides all right so next step I'm gonna remove this motor out of here all right so I've got the motor out and here it is nice clean 24 volt brush DC motor and look at how much tool I have to use to remove the motor like that nah just kidding the only tool I need was a 10 millimeter uh, wrench to remove the three bolts one I'm actually that's not the one one here one here and one on the other side just so three that's it and it came out just like that very easy and here are the other parts the blades the thingy not sure what that is uh, the washer and that's it I'm gonna throw away the rest. What a waste, but uh, I have no use for it whatsoever. Alright, folks, uh, that's all I have. Uh, next time, I'm gonna make a video of my uh, new go, go, uh, go kart or electric bike. Probably I'm gonna use in a go kart that use these. Uh, 24 volt brush motor really nice motor and that's all I have folks and uh, thank you for watching